Hello children, welcome back. As I said, in this session we are learning about properties of multiplication. integers see in our previous class i taught you the multiplication of integers okay so after that properties we are going through in this property first property comes closure under multiplication it says that if a and b are integers then a into b is an integer okay now here for example if i take um, minus 3 into minus 4 minus into minus if a negative integer is multiplied, okay, even numbered times, always the product will be positive, okay. We learnt under multiplication of integers. Now, minus into minus plus 3 fours are 12. So, 12 is an integer. So, A into B is always an integer. If I take one more example, 4 into minus 1, 4 into minus 1. So, plus into minus when we are multiplying a positive integer and a negative integer, when we are multiplying a positive and a negative integer, the product always will be a negative integer. So, minus 4 is also an integer. The closure property says that if A and B are integer, then A into B is also an integer. Coming to next property. Commutative property under multiplication. What this property says is if A and B are integers, then A into B is always equal to B into A. This is the commutative property. Okay. Now here for example if I take 3 into minus 4 is always equal to minus 4 into 3. Okay. Next minus 7 into 0 is always equal to 0 into minus 7. See here A into B is always equal to B into A where A and B are integers. So 3 into minus 4 is minus 12. Minus 4 into 3 is also minus 12. Minus 7 into 0, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. 0 into minus 7 is also 0. Okay, this is the commutative property. Coming to next property. Multiplication by 0. Okay. If any integer multiplied by 0, we get the product as 0. Okay. If we multiply any integer by 0, we get 0. A into 0 is always a 0. Okay. For example, if I take example, minus 3 into 0, how much 0? Uh, 0 into minus 7, 0. Correct? Any number in that case. 1 into 0, 0. Okay. So, A into 0 is always a 0. Okay. A into 0 is always a 0. Any number in that case, if we multiply with 0, we are getting 0. This is multiplication under, uh, multiplication by 0. A into 0 is always 0. 
coming to next property. Multiplicative identity. I hope you all remember that in my first video I learnt, I taught you that additive identity. So additive identity is zero. Okay. That is if we add any number, any integer with zero, if we add any number by zero, we are getting the same number I said. So zero is the additive identity. Whereas multiplicative identity is one. Okay. One is the multiplicative identity for integers. For example, if I uh, multiply any integer by 1, see uh, minus 3 into 1, I am getting the same digit. Okay, so only 1 is known as the multiplicative identity. Uh, 7 into 1, 7, the number itself I am getting, correct? Now, uh, minus 1 into, sorry, minus 9 into 1, minus 9. Any digits, you can try with any digits multiplying with 1. So, this is the multiplicative identity. Which number is the multiplicative identity for integer? 1. Okay. Coming to next property. Associativity for multiplication. Okay, what it says if A, B and C are integers, then A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. Okay, see here whenever we are speaking about the associative property, there will be three integers that is a b and c so if a b and c are integers then a into b within bracket into c is equal to a into b into c within bracket okay here let me take one example for example minus 3 into minus 2 into 1 okay this is a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. Now here, now see here, minus into minus, the product of two negative integer will be a positive integer. So minus into minus plus 3, 2 is a 6 into 1 is equal to minus 3 into minus 2. 6 is equal to three, minus into minus plus 3, 2 is a 6. Okay, so associativity of multiplication says that if A, B and C are integer then A into B into C always equal to A into B into C. Okay, now coming to the next property. Coming to next property, after associativity for, for uh, multiplication, distributive property. So distributive, what distributive property says? It says that if A, B and C are integers, then A into B plus C, okay, is equal to A into B plus A into C. See, understand here, distributive property says if A, B and C are integers, then the number whichever we are getting is also an integer. Okay. If the condition
condition it says it is a into b plus c. Here what is happening? A is being distributed equally among b and c. A is being distributed among b and c. See here a into b plus a into c. Okay. So this is one more one uh, rule. One more thing. A into b minus c. In case if there is a minus sign, then also it is a is being distributed a into b minus a into c. A is being distributed among equally between b and c. The case is here it is minus sign. That's it. Okay. Here one example let me take. I will take one small example. 3 into 4 plus 1. I am taking example for the first case. 3 into 4 plus 1. A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A, A into C. Okay. That is 3 into 1 plus 3, th sorry, 3 into 4 plus 3 into 1. See here, for first case, I have taken this example. A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. It should be, that is, 4 into, 3 into 4 plus 3 into 1. Okay? One more, see here, if I solve, 3 fours are 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. 15 is an integer? Yes. So, coming to the second rule, if I take 8 into... 2 minus 1. Okay. For this case, I am taking one example here. That is 8 into 2 minus 1. That is A into B minus C. It is equal to A into B minus A into C. 8 into 2 minus 8 into 1. Okay. That is 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. 8 is also an integer. Okay. So, this is the distributive property under multiplication. By this, we finish with the properties of multiplication. So, coming to division of integers, children. Now, Division of integers. What it says, if we divide a positive integer by a negative integer, we are getting a negative integer. Okay, the divided, the quotient will be, so uh, the, see here, when we divide a positive integer by a negative integer, we are getting same answers in the both the cases. For example, see here the standard form let me write that is if a is divided by minus b is always equal to minus a divided by b. Okay. See, understand a divided by minus b is always equal to minus a divided by b. Here a is in the same place. Okay. It is not like commutative property. No. A divided by minus b. Only the case here is the sign is got changed between a and b. So here the condition says where b should not be equal to 0. So, B should not be equal to 0. When we divide a positive integer by a negative integer, here we are dividing a positive integer by a negative integer, where B should not be equal to 0. Okay, then the condition says, yes, if we are getting the integer as the number, whatever we are getting. For example, if we take 48, 
divided by minus 8 is equal to minus 48 divided by 8. See here, 48 divided by minus 8 is equal to minus 48 divided by 8. 8 ones are 8 six are. 8 ones are 8 six are. So here also, whether in case of there is a minus sign in the denominator or numerator, no matter, we are getting minus 6 is equal to minus 6. For answer, we are taking the sign, minus sign before the number. So this, this satisfies the rule. So this is the division of integer first rule here. So a divided by minus b is always equal to minus a divided by b where b is not equal to 0. Coming to next property. When we divide negative integer by a negative integer. Here let me take one example. See before example the standard form let me write. See here minus a divided by minus b. Okay, when we divide a negative integer by a negative integer, the both the integers should be negative, then it will be a divided by b. See here, that is minus a by minus b. What is happening here? When we are dividing, the minus sign will get cancelled. Okay, minus sign will get cancelled. Here it get cancelled. It will become a positive number we will get a positive integer. Okay. See here, I will take one small example. Okay, one small example let me take. Minus 36 divided by minus 6. Okay, here I am dividing we when we when we divide negative integer by negative integer. Okay, that is minus 36 divided by minus 6. That is equal to minus 36 divided by minus 6. Minus 5 minus 5 will get cancelled. Correct? 6 ones are 6, 6, 6 is 36. Okay, 6. So, 6 is an integer. Got it? So, see here, when we divide negative integer by a negative integer, the answer always will be an integer. So, it will be a positive. It will be a positive plus. It, is, it will be a positive integer. Why? Because here, the minus sign will get cancelled. Both the sides. Okay? So, coming to the next property. See here, this is division of integers. That is, the first division says that if when we divide a positive integer by a negative integer, we are getting a negative integer. The second thing, just now I thought when we divide negative integer by a negative integer, we are getting a positive integer. Now coming to the properties of division children. See, properties of division. See, under uh, addition of multiplication, many properties we learn. Now here also properties under division, first you think about first what property we learned, closure property under addition, subtraction, multiplication also we learned. But here for division the properties, the closure property will not satisfy. Why? See here I will let you know, integer or not, here integers are not closed 
under division. It is not closed under division. Why? Because see here, minus 4 divided by minus 8. If I take, when, a, when we divide any two integer, okay, minus 4 divided by minus 8, how much I will get? Minus 4 by minus 8. Minus sign, minus sign will get cancelled. It is in the form of 4 by 8. In my starting of integer, when I start itself, I said that integers are not fractions. It is not in the form of A by B. Correct. So, it is not closed under division. So, not always. One more example let me take and show you. Minus 8 divided by minus 4. That is minus 8 by minus 4. Minus sign will get cancelled. 4 ones are 4 twos are. So, here 2 is integer. Okay. So, integer are not closed under division. So, one times it satisfies here in few cases. And in few cases it is not satisfying the rule. This is, it is not closed under division. Coming to next property. See here, the next property says, division is not commutative for whole numbers. So, division is not closed, okay. Closure property also not satisfied. Commutative property also not satisfied. See here, it says that A divided by B is not equal to B divided by A. No. Here, let me take one small example and show you. Minus 8 divided by minus 4 is not equal to minus 4 divided by minus 8. Why? Because see here, minus 8 divided by minus 4, minus 4 divided by minus 8. Now see here, 4 ones are 4 twos are, minus sign will get cancelled, I said. But here, minus sign will get cancelled, but here it is in the form of A by B. Here, I cannot cancel. That is 2 is not equal to 4 by 8. Okay. So, this division, properties of division says it is not a commutative. It not satisfy the commutative property. Okay. It is not commutative for whole numbers. Coming to next property. integer divided by 0 is not defined. Okay, it is not defined. That is an integer. If a divided by 0, it is meaningless. A cannot be divided by 0, right? So, always an integer divided by 0 is not defined. Whereas, 0 divided by an integer is 0. That is, 0 divided by A is equal to 0. Okay, now here, for example, let me show you. Here I can take one example. 0 divided by 3 is equal to 0. Okay, 0 divided by 9 is equal to 0. So, 0 divided by an integer is 0. If I take negative numbers also or also, I will get 0. Okay, so this is the third property under division. So, here any integer divided by 0 is not defined. 0 divided by any integer is 0. Coming to the last property under division. When we divide, Any integer by 1. Okay. It, it gives the same number. See here. When we divide any integer by 1, we get the 
सेम नंबर सेम नंबर वी आर गेटिंग फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई डिवाइड 8 डिवाइडेड बाय 1 आई विल गेट 8 इटसेल्फ आई एम गेटिंग द सेम नंबर राइट हियर आई एम गेटिंग द सेम नंबर इफ आई राइट माइनस 11 डिवाइडेड बाय 1 आई एम गेटिंग माइनस 11 द सेम नंबर ओके व्हेन वी डिवाइड एनी इंटीजर बाय 1 we are we will get the same number so this is the last property under division i hope you all understood children so many concepts we covered in integers okay and there's addition subtraction multiplication and division i need you all to go through and learn properly concentrate and learn make a note of it what all concepts i have taught okay by this uh, we completed integers chapter. Thank you children.